Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So as you can see right here, I have a new bow. This uh, took a little bit of farming and this is not the only new bow that I have. Well basically, I've got now the Ice Crest and the Hidden Bow. So both of which are from the cats. Ice Crest is basically from um, Baryov and the Hidden Bow is basically from Narga. So why am I using uh, the Hidden Bow now instead of the Sponge Gear? So as you can see, both of them are um, Pierce Bows. As, uh, yeah, on the top it's the Narga Bow and on the bottom it's the Ludrov Bow. So why am I not using the Ludrov Bow despite you know saying that it has water and it's uh, you know which would be more effective against the next key quest monster, the Uragan. Well, simply because of the coatings. I find that um, being able to use poison and paralyzed coating as compared to exhaust coating would be more efficient. Or, well, not efficient, but I prefer to use poison and paralyzed rather than exhaust. So, yeah. And um, not to mention that it has slightly higher raw attack. Both of them are equally upgraded. And it has higher affinity as well. So,. I believe that makes up for the lack of 25 water damage. So yes, and uh, definitely, I'm not sure if, it's the, if it is the first time I'm saying this, but remember that water, no, not water, draw damage is usually always much more preferred over any kind of elemental damage. Well, just basically the way the damage is being calculated. Unless, unless that, that weapon does a very great amount of um, elemental damage and the monster is very very weak to that element like weak to the extent where it's um how do you put it well basically it's a lot of it, most of it is calculated in percentages it's gonna be quite hard to explain without giving you the numbers so just trust me on this one <laughs> like okay and especially when bows um, you don't do a lot of attacks like the um, Dual sword or yeah, dual blades or sword and shield. Generally, um, having just high raw attack damage is is generally more favorable for you. Just saying, um, yeah. Personally, I I used to think I used to be really really concerned about used to be really concerned about the um, elemental damage being a great factor, but. I've tried it sort of with uh in the past I've tried like you know switching out some weapons with well some differences here and there and it seemed to me that well elements really don't make that much of a difference. For for let's say um Uragan for an in for instance, it only is uh weak mainly against water and ice. And uh be it if I used the ice the water or the or bow, an elementalist bow or wep weapon, it doesn't have to be bow, a weapon for example. The difference is not that huge because Ruragan isn't really that weak to water or ice per se, as compared to like, you know, maybe Devil Joe, which is uh, super super weak to a what's that called? To, to dragon element. So yeah. So yeah, it, it's not very convincing without giving you the numbers. I, I'm I'm very sure that it's not convincing at all, so... <laughs> but anyway, this is just based on personal experience. I just feel that raw damage is always, almost always more important. And I wonder why did they give us barrel bombs though? This is interesting. So yeah, here we go. The Uragan's Ecology Cutscene. So as you can see, this guy rolls around like a... Bouncing ball of doom. His back is kind of unique. It looks... It looks very, um... Studded. Which is definitely, I mean, it is studded, but the thing is, look at his chin, wham! Oh, damn. So yeah, the Uraga is not something you want to mess with very oftenly, it's quite difficult to deal with. Um, but, yeah, here we go. We're just gonna be, you know, shooting it right up the butt. And, oh, the raw. So the reason why I want to go Pierce Bow on this guy is, as you can see, his body is so long, it's generally quite 
easy to land in a good few shots on him unless you miss like that. <laughs> and uh yeah. It's just it's just that that fun. And I mean well since I've always been using the spread bow and the uh, rapid bow I used spread bow recently and previously it was the rapid bow so why not go for something else a little bit different? The PS bow instead oh my gosh he just he just walked right into me, that's not cool. He's gonna roll and so yeah, the ram guns are supposed to be an or feast or 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 deform. I, I I don't even know how you call it, but basically this guy eats um, metal ores, and as you can see, his it's uh the studded back is really more or less tons of ores just you know growing on to it. Whoa whoa whoa! And it's able to roll in this really interesting fashion as a form of attack slash defense. I don't really know how do you call it. And it, it has that powerful chin that um, you can smash the ground with. So you can actually break the chin. And oh my gosh, I don't want to get slammed. It's definitely not cool. So that tail sweep will send out like some kind of uh, ores flying at you. And if I remember correctly, this guy has a uh, sleep gas. I don't know, smelly gas, I can't remember. He's taunting, so I'm just gonna, you know, no hesitate to shoot him right in the face. He's just, uh, wow, making all those things detonate as well. So yeah, shooting him right through the body, um, basically gives a good amount of damage. If I remember correctly, his weaker spot is actually his, uh, his chin, maybe? His head slash chin? I'm not sure. So actually, going for a rapid bow might not be the worst idea here. In fact, I, I'm, I'm starting to doubt my de decision to go PS Bow because I'm not actually able to, you know, continue. Always, I'm not always able to get a lot of shots into him. And where did he go? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, he's up there. Oh dear, oh dear. What are you doing? What are you doing? Massive rollout. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, he's done rolling, so... So yeah, that's uh, what kind of an interesting move, I guess. It's similar to like, the Rattalosses around the world nonsense. Nope. Oh, he's gonna spin and send out some ores flying from his tail end, which is dubious. Would it be actually poop? I don't know. So I'm just gonna keep shooting him in like this. Oh, 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 he's angry now. He's really angry now. Although I do have one, one interesting question though. Why would you have close range coating on like a pierce bow? I mean, theoretically, pierce bows are supposed to cover long, long distances. Or I guess maybe to make up for the fact that you may have to be in close range at some times and so the close range coating may... Oh! Hot damn, that hurt. He's not liking this entire thing going on right now. Just gonna roll out of the way of that. So, oh, you have to stop, 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 just... Oh my gosh, that was close. He's just really in your face right now. Uh, in, my, in my face, but yeah. Swinging out more weird stuff. Those all um, like, things which can explode. Supposedly those things do damage to him. Oh, damn. Oh dear, this, this is not looking too good. <laughs> but anyway, supposedly those things do damage to himself when he makes them detonate, but um, I don't think it's a lot of damage, honestly speaking. And, ah, shoot, I forgot to bring Might Seeds again. My gosh, my level of forgetfulness is just horrendous. So he went that way, um, don't really need to worry too much about paintballing him, I guess. But I do need to keep an eye on my health. I've been taking quite a number of hits, so I think a bit too many risks. He's still angry and there are random losses in the area, this is not exactly the most ideal situation. Oh wait, he's, he's not angry, he's exhausted. Alright, face me. Face me. Actually, no, no, don't. Don't, don't, don't. F face me, but don't get too close. Okay, the Ren Applause are angry. No, no! Ren Applause, please! Why? I did not do anything to anger you. Oh, oh my gosh. Stop, stop it, Ren Applause. 
I'll deal you. I'll deal with you if you if I had a rapid bow, but I don't. All I have is this Pierce bow, which is uh, which is not very good at dealing with small tiny monsters like you guys. So, anyways, I'm just doing doing really really terrible stuff here, like shooting him in the arms and stuff, which do not really help. I want ideally to you know be in front of his face, trying to break his chin or something, but. He's not really giving me that chance. Oh, uh, what, what a huge slam, and uh, not to worry about it. Okay, come on, come on. Face me, yep. No! And enough of your chin slams. Stop. Your brain will hurt from that. Oh, yeah, there he goes, letting off gas. But he's exhausted, so he cannot actually let off any gas. So that's kinda awkward. No, don't just walk into me, that's just rude. And oh gosh, seriously the Random Plus? Stop that. You know, I seriously think that Random Plus is like one of the most annoying monst neutral monsters around. The next being Jaggi maybe. <laughs> Jaggi and family. Jaggi and friends or whatever. Whoa. Oh, he fell over. So this is a good chance for me to quickly just line up shot right along his back which is less than ideal but you know his head is just stuck in the wall right now so what can I do oh seems like he's angry yep I'm gonna need the pa paralyzed coating soon I guess he's just gonna keep slamming there and whoa he broke the rock okay all right hold on hold on hold on I, I know you're gonna do something yep there we go oh my gosh nope stop that random blast please stop it uh, oh my gosh, I was just lining up the shot perfectly and then this guy came along. I hate you, Ronald Bloss. I hate you. Ah, shoot. I'm standing on the lava. This is not good. This is not good. I mean, not, not lava, but, you know, the hot area. Oh, he's gonna do this mega slam. Just gonna rain paralyzed arrows down on him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The Ronald Bloss, though, please. No, no! Ah... I'm already having trouble in, as, it's, as it is to line up a nice shot and then, you know, you have to come and interrupt my entire thing. Oh dear, he's going off. And I barely land, landed like any shots on him, I feel. That wasn't, that wasn't too great. I'm just gonna quickly just mine this a couple of times before chasing after him. Because if you're lucky, you might just get a charm. A good one, maybe. Doesn't seem like it though, but oh uh, no, stop. Oh my gosh. Oh god, another one coming as well. Oh my gosh. I I hate these guys. Totally. So anyway, there he is. Um, he's definitely gonna try rolling here, I guess. Oh wow. Or maybe just gonna roll the, the little things. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Hey, 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 I rolled out of that. That's, that's BS game things otherwise though. Ah, whatever. Just gonna try and paralyze him. In a couple more shots, I guess. Oh, that's close. Oh, come on. Ah, it's so hard to paralyze him. It should work right now. Yes, there we go. Okay, remove the paralyzing shots and... Just straight up his chin. Just another one more of his chin again. And one more time. Woohoo! That's sweet. Oh, he's uh. Not sure if he's angry or doing a taunting roll or what, but he's coming. It's not cool. So, yep. Just gonna keep going at this. He's gonna roll again. Let's keep rolling, 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 rolling. Yep, that's uh. Wow, that song's really, really old, commenting on it. Oh my gosh, here he comes again. So good thing the maps are kind of huge here, so he has the space to roll around, and uh, we don't have to panic like mad when he gets close, I guess. I mean, we have sufficient time to react to it, I guess. What? what? Oh, whoa, I broke his tail part. Interesting. I've had to break his chin, though, but he did flinch. So, yep. 
Oh my gosh, no! Oh, he still got me! Maybe I should have rolled under him? I'm not sure. I was gonna do a, a weird, like, side hip check thing, which barely... I don't even know. Oh, he's angry. Oh dear. He's angry again. That's not cool. Oh, he is limping though. Oh wow, that, that missed really badly. Okay, okay, so... I guess I'll just put on the power coatings and try and finish him off quickly. This uh, wasn't wasn't a very uh, good fight. I feel it was, it was kind of sloppy. Like I didn't I didn't hit the critical distance very well for a Pierce Bowl. I feel. Well, then again, I'm not. I don't. Oh, oh where is he? Oh, he's up there. That he wants to fall asleep. I guess. Oh. Oh. Darn. How do we get to him? Wait, he's awake. Oh, what? Alright, I don't mind. I'm just gonna rain down some Oh, never mind, he's, he's coming down to us. Where's he coming from? Oh, there, there, I can see, I can see it. Oh, ho! I wanna try and break his chin. Never mind, he's like, no! Well, I'll say this once and I'll say it again many, many times. <laughs> but I feel like the best type of bow to break parts is probably either the spread bow or the uh, rapid bow unless the part you're trying to break is let's say the monster's back where it is virtually impossible to reach using a rapid bow or a spread bow unless you are using just the arrow rain every time you attack oh my gosh it's just gonna keep repeating that isn't it oh he flinched Still desperately trying to break his chin. Oh, he's angrier. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nope. Please don't. So, yeah. No, no, no. He's. Oh, okay. He's going for the cat. Eric's. Uh, Eric is now down. Oh, darn. Stop moving and let me shoot this thing, this arrow through your face and through the rest of your body. So this guy, he's a. Uh, I can't remember what his armor set does, but um, yeah. If I, as far as I know, it, it looks really, really chunky, like really warrior-ish, very armor-clad kind of feel. So yeah, and there we go. There's the raw gun. Right now, in low rank, is not all that terrible to deal with, but um, in the future when we get to the high rank, my oh my, he's um. He is one heck of a monster to deal with. And the subspecies, oh my god. Don't even get me started. <laughs> so basically, he's gonna roll like maybe 10 times more than this. And uh, he's gonna shoot 10 times more of the... The... Ore stuff out of his tail end. And uh, he's gonna detonate them like very much so more often and... Yeah. He's... Quite a pain to deal with. In all honesty. Sort of. I believe um, his set isn't that useful for a gunner though. Oh, we can take a look later. But yeah, oh darn, my pickaxe broke. Damn! Well, there goes that, and uh, let's see if we can reach that in time. Seems not. So, when we head back to town, um, I mean, Yukumo Village, I'm gonna check if I have enough points to renovate the. the stop it, Renoplos! enough points to, to renovate the farm and uh, just grabbing all this stuff because why not and yeah so wow this guy is long by default volcanic bomb so I, I still don't get why we were given bombs but uh I'll, I'll just take them I guess I mean I don't they didn't provide sleep coatings or anything so meh in any case let's see Oh wow, I do have not a lot of points. Uh, uh, that's that's miserable. Uh, <coughs> never mind. That's moving on. So yeah. So right now, no armor craft. Let's see. Do I? Oh, I don't seem to have unlocked his uh set yet, huh? Really? No, those are never snuff ones. Ranga. Yes. All right. Here we go. So, pierce up, defense, fire. 
res and water res negative. That's actually not too bad, the pierce up. Ah. No. The pierce up would indeed be useful, I guess. But then again, this is a. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of like futuristic. Well, not futuristic, but some kind of armor like feeling to it, maybe. Oh well, anyways. Um. Yeah. I'm not really a great user of Pierce Bowls, as demonstrated in the terrible gameplay, like, <laughs> in this video. <laughs> so, we shall see. But generally, I'm making um, the bows that are, like, the best in their respective areas, like the best Pierce Bowls. I, the, wait, hold on. When I say the best, it's, it's in my personal point of view, they are not in any way, you know, proven. I mean, maybe some have been, but um, these are the ones that I prefer to use. Yeah, so um, the preferred pierce bowls, the preferred rapid bowls, and spread bowls. So they may be, may or may not be elemental, have elemental attacks, but... So anyways, back to the village quest, we are now... We have now unlocked the urgent quest, which is a Duramboros, and they are tremendous brutes with tails they use as if they were hammers. So one has been causing trouble, and... Admittedly, is stronger than a Zenogre. Whoa. So, be mindful of its tail, it has a tendency to swing it around, and the impact from it could easily send you flying. So, uh, there's a saying that goes, it's, it's better to tow the waters carefully than to jump in with both feet first. So, yeah, that is, that's a very true thing that applies in life, I guess. So, I mean, many times they say just do it and YOLO and all that, but really, you should take a little bit more consideration. But in any case, enough of me rambling on and on, um, I guess this is it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching. Um, next time we'll be taking on the Duramboros, and I will be using the, the Ice Crest. Yes, the Baryoth bow. The Baryoth that I so... I, the Baryoths that I killed. So many of them, just, just to get this bow. Well, it was worth it though. It, it was worth it. Look, look, just look at this. Those, the souls of those barrel of the die would not be in vain. <laughs> I hope at least. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is Image Geek, and uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Tell me how I can improve and etc. So, yep, Image Geek, signing out.